Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are in the new year. Praise the Lord. Today, thank the Lord. We want to thank the Lord for allowing us to make it in the new year. This is January the 2nd. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to thank each of you for joining with me for Saturday's daily Bible study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. Our lesson for today, unbelief despite the miracles. Unbelief despite the miracles. Coming from John 15 verses 18 through 25. And as you can tell, we are speaking of several occasions where the Jews had opportunity open to them, but yet they did not believe. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started, but first I want to ask if anything is said. It touches your heart, soul, or spirit. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. <clears throat> and if you want to be added to the prayer list, please let me know, and I will add your name to the prayer list. Amen. Also, I would like to ask if you would subscribe to my channel and join with us as we study together to and meditate on the word of the Lord. Also, hit that thumb, uh, that bell to be notified each time a lesson is put out. And also, uh, give it a thumbs up when uh, if you if something is said resonates with your spirit. Amen. We're going to get ready and get started, but first we're going to have prayer. Then we're going to move right into the lesson. Our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory are thine. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you, Father, for making a way out of nowhere. We thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, giving us activities of our limbs, our health and strength, Father. We thank you, Father. Lord, we 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 we, we pray uh, 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 healing and blessing and protection over all those that has uh, 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 that that is in in in. In, in, in dire straits with the COVID in the name of Jesus right now. By your stripes, they are healed. We claim healing for their mind, soul, spirit, and body in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, for all that you do for us, with it, all that you have done and is doing. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that as you say, as it said in your word, Father, by your stripes, we are healed. And we claim that healing for each and every one in the name of Jesus now, under the sound of my voice that they shall be healed in the name of Jesus. They shall walk in that healing and give testimony and glorification unto you, Father, that you are the one that healed and made their body whole in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you honor, glory, and praise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear. You give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high as we go forth in studying and meditating on your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready and get started. <clears throat> Unbelief despite the miracles. And we're coming from John 15, verse 18 through 25, speaking of the hatred of the world. And the scripture lesson text read, If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, you would, you would, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no, cho no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen 
and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Amen, amen. Powerful lesson we have. And so we are talking about Jesus predicts the world's hatred. Amen. And, it's, and the commentary says, the disciples were not to be surprised or disheartened, as we are not to be surprised or disheartened when people uh, it does not love on us about everything we do because we are uh, a children of God and, and, and because we are not uh, falling behind their footsteps. If they hated Jesus Christ, they will hate us as well. If they lied on him, they will lie on us. Amen. Is it disheartened if the world hates them? The if does not express any doubt that this would happen. It was certain the world hated the Lord and it will hate all who resemble him. Men of the world love those who live as they do. Those who use the language and indulge in the lust of the flesh are people who are cultured but live only for themselves. Christians condemn them by their holy lives. Therefore, the world hates them. If the world is not envious or hateful of your life, is you truly living for God? Are you doing that which is different, that which is unique, that which is special uh, in front of them? Amen. And within yourself. Amen. Here, servant literally means slave. A disciple should not expect any better treatment from the world than his master received. He will be persecuted just as Christ was. His word, his word will be refused just as the Savior's was. This hatred and persecution is for my namesake, says uh, Christ. It is because the believer is linked to Christ because he has been separated from the world by Christ. And because he bears Christ's name and likeness, this is what we are to bear his name and his likeness by following in his footsteps. Amen. The world is ignorant of God. They do not know that the Father sent the Lord into the world to be the Savior, but ignorance is no excuse. The Lord was not teaching here that if he had not come, then men would not have been sinners. From the time of Adam, all men had been sinners, but their sin would not have been nearly so great as it now was, these men had seen the Son of God and heard his wonderful words. They could find no fault in him, whatever, yet they rejected him. It was this, that their terrible sin of rejecting the Lord of glory, their, their, their other sins were as nothing. Now they had no excuse for their sins. They had rejected the light of the world. In hating Christ, they hated his father also. The two are one. They could not say that they loved God, for if they had, they would have loved the one God sent. They were not only responsible for having heard the teaching of Christ, they also saw his miracles. This added to their condemnation. They saw works which no one else had ever performed. To reject Christ in face of this evidence was inexcusable. The Lord compared all their other sins to this one sin and said that the former were, were as nothing when placed alongside the latter because they hated the son, they hated his father, and this was their terrible condemnation. The Lord realized that man's attitude toward him was an exact fulfillment of prophecy. It was predicted in Psalm 69 and 4 that Christ would be hated without a cause. Now that it had happened, the Lord committed that the very Old Testament, which these men praised a prize, had predicted their senseless hatred of him. The fact that it was 
prophesied did not mean that these men had to had to hate Christ. They hated him by their own deliberate choice. But God foresaw that it would happen, and he caused David to write it down in Psalm 69. Amen. This is a powerful statement that he wanted uh, it known that they would uh, hate him without a cause. Amen. They had no reason to hate him, but yet still they they had a choice. And as you know, one of the uh, passages of scripture it speaks of uh, uh, when the uh, Pharisees and scribes were speaking about Jesus Christ, and they were saying that uh, someone had to die for the people. They were talking about Jesus Christ when his time was to come to die for the people. Amen. And also we, we see here that uh, the Lord uh, showed them in many, many different aspects of who he was, but yet and still they would not accept him because they did not want to turn loose of what they had in, in the world. They didn't want to turn loose their, their prized possession of, of living in the big places and, and being considered somebody special. And so they didn't, because they didn't want to turn it loose, then they forsook the, the Lord God himself. Amen. This is a great and wonderful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a wonderful and blessed day.